Kelly recently caught up with the cars on the Andy Warhol set of their next film clip in New York City. Well, Rick, Greg, welcome to Countdown and welcome to Australia. Thank you. Good. I've been trying to get you guys for an interview for I can't tell you how long. Uh -huh. Nearly made it one time to Cleveland when I was over here, but not quite. Now, you've been quoted in some articles, there's a doc, you've been quoted in some articles as saying that you like writing romantic songs. Mm -hmm. um, are you a romantic with this? More so than, yeah, I would say so. You yeah. know, in a sense, not in a, in a philosophical sense. More so than a classical, you know, type of person, which, you know, I don't rely on diagrams. I sort of rely on feelings. Right. So in that sense, I'm more romantic. But uh, yeah, most of my songs are written about those kinds of things, you know, uh, relationships between right. people rather than politics or whatever. Now, when it comes down to writing the songs, does it come as a, a natural flow to you just throughout a year, or is it when you suddenly think, well, I have to do a new album? Uh, the group and I'll get better get some songs together. Is it written what, which way is it written? It's just sort of like as as time goes on, whenever I feel so inspired to write some, I, I write a, right. a bunch and then, yeah, then it'll happen again. I just sort of do that. Right, well, you might think, it's not one I would really think would be a single, and yet then it grows on you. Is that the reason why it was fixed? Yeah, I think a lot of the songs grow. will grow. Yeah. I think a lot of them, if, you know, on, on repeated listening, it's like all of a sudden surface in your mind, right. um, which I think is good because I don't think you should be able to get it immediately. Because right. I think that the quicker you get it, the quicker it goes away, actually. Right. Slower, the longer it takes to get it, um, the longer it lasts. Now, I've got to ask this totally nasty question, you probably asked me many times. The, uh, the name, the car itself. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, David, our drummer, thought of the name, but basically we, we used it because we thought it. Uh, yeah, it was sort of like a, a pop symbol, you know. It was right. sort of like a thing that was, you know, we weren't, obviously we weren't really cars, you know, but it was a, a sort of a throwaway name that sounded good, right. you know, but didn't really have any significant meaning. We weren't, weren't trying to uh, have the name, you know, mean anything specific or or set up some sort of an aura, but right. it seems a lot of people use it metaphorically anyway, you know, in the press and all that. So it lets them have some fun. And, I think I'm crazy, but you're on Countdown with the Cars.